Okay, Holly, let me show you how you can set this up. It's pretty simple. Um, you basically have a two column row. You have an image here of Amy on the right hand side. You got a little bit of text and a button at the bottom. So let me just show you inside of ClickFunnels how we're going to set this up and pretty much uh, the same thing here. So all, all I did is I came in, I created a section, I gave it a gray background. That's all there is in the section. And then we did a two column row just have it split right down the middle and all the rest of the work really well okay let's say here we got the image first and i had a had a really large image so i didn't have to change the width or the height so if you're putting this image in here figure out about how tall you want it in fact let's just right click on here and let's just see how tall this image really is slide that over a bit Okay, so here is our image, and in a second, there should be a box that's going to pop up and tell me what we're looking at. Okay, so the image itself is 400 by 600 pixels, so it's 400 wide by 600 pixels tall. So um, you want to make sure that when you create your image, you create it the size that you want, so you don't have to try to make it bigger or smaller or anything like that. You always want to make your images about the size of what they're going to be uh, on your ClickFunnels page. And so all I did is I put in that image and then I went into the advanced settings and I said I wanted it to float to the left it's just so we could get it over to this side. And then in the other side here, all of this, well, okay, this here is a text element. So all it is is two paragraph elements uh, stuck together. So we got a couple paragraph elements here and then we have a button down here at the bottom and I'll click on that and show you how you make that with just the outline on it. So we have, we set the text color to black and the background color to black or you could actually set the background color to another color. Let's just say we want to make it yellow, but actually that changed that. That's not what I want to do. So let's change that back to a black color. And so what we want to do is you can change, of course, what the button says right here. You want to set its action. You can change where it's sitting on the page uh, with that scrubber. You can change the text size here, of course. And then we'll go into advanced. And we want to say the, um, the style on it, we want that to be flat line instead of custom. So we'll make that flat line fluid. You could do fill with and make it really wide if you wanted to. Um, that's pretty much it. You can change the size of it and the amount of padding on it and all that kind of stuff in here as well. Box shadow, I don't think that'll matter because we're using the line flat. So we'll say we got no shadow on that. And then that's it for the elements. So the last thing you have to do then is come into the columns at the top. And I will tell you right now that I'm pretty sure they're working on the columns editor. And so it's been really wonky lately. So I just clicked on it here and there's nothing below here, but if you scroll down, hopefully it will show us now. It's not gonna do it now. Uh, it's really funny because five minutes ago, it was allowing me to see the information I needed, and now it's not showing me the information needed. So we're gonna have to do this the old fashioned way, which we're gonna come into this column, we're going to right click on it, we're going to say inspect, and we're gonna come over here, and you're gonna see when we highlight this area here, it highlights this column. So we're in column left 123, and inside of that is what we really want is we want the class of call inner. So what that looks like in CSS, we'll come into our CSS, we'll click on that, we will open it up. And where did I put that? Right here. Here it is. So we have hashtag call left 123 and then a period call inner. So this is the ID. This is the part we were actually looking for. Well, actually, now I think about it, actually it gives you this whole thing. When we were to go into the columns, click on the top and come down and find it, it would have given us this bit of information right here. And then we're going to go margin right minus 30 pixels, which is going to move this whole thing over. So let me just take that out and let you see what it looks like otherwise. So this is what it would natively look like. And we go into our CSS. And we will, where was that? Put that back in. 
and now it will move it 30 pixels to the right. Now, actually, it doesn't make it 30 pixels, does not move the entire box 30 pixels to the right or the entire column. What it does is it makes it 30 pixels wider on the right hand side. So basically it takes what the margin or I'm saying the edge of the box, the edge of the column had been like right here and it just moves that edge over 30 pixels. So it actually probably goes right behind here because I didn't, I just put in 30 and it looked okay. So I left it. Um, but again, how you find that is you right click and you click on inspect and then you find the column over here. Cause when you do that, it will highlight this in blue. And so then when you hover over the blue, it will show you where you're at. And you almost always want to grab the call inner class and add it to the ID in order to specify the width and padding and whatnot on this column. And then again, within the column, let's see if it lets us in this time. It's not going to show it to us. Let's try this again. Columns, column two. And then we'll go up to column one, and I don't think it's gonna work. Okay, so inside that column, you have the sliders for your padding at your top, padding at the bottom, and padding on the right and left side. And in this case here, I'm pretty sure I made like 20 pixels padding at the top, 20 pixels padding at the bottom, and then like 60 or 70 pixels on the sides, which brought it in a little bit. So that's it. The hardest part is because the columns editor right now is not working right. You may have to go into your CSS code. You may have to go back here. You may have to, again, do a right click, inspect, and then just find that column that you are working in. And it'll look like this. If it's on the left-hand side, it'll always say left in the middle section of this. The right-hand side will always say right. And then if you got four or five or six columns, I forget what it says, but it, you'll be able to figure it out because they'll all be, all the columns will be one after another, just like this if you if you click on the little thing and, and it shows like that. So if you got any questions on this, just feel free to reach out to me. Have a great day.